Hey, hey, y'all, how you doing? Let's divide some mixed numbers today. Very quickly, if you're looking at some problem and you're going, eh, I'm not really sure what the answer is, look at it for a second and take a, take a stab at it. Make a, make a guess about how much. In other words, if it's like eight and two thirds divided by three and one tenth, whatever, eight and two thirds divided by three and one tenth. You're gonna go eight and two thirds, eh, it's about nine. 3 and 1 10, it's about 3. 9 divided by 3 is about 3. It'll be a little less than 3 because it's not quite 9 divided by 3. It's a little less, more, you know. But anyway, if you get something like, you know, 28 over 10 or something like that, 28 divided by 10 is about 3. That's reasonable. But if you get, I got a 156 divided by 7, you're like, yeah, that ain't going to work. So redo it. That's a good idea to kind of like stab at it really quickly, I guess, so you know if your answer is ridiculous. So let's talk about how to divide problems or solving problems with fractions. This is dividing or um, multiplication we're going to do in a second. Put the problem in the right shape. You can pause, of course, and copy this. Put it in the right shape. We'll, we'll do this in a second. Perform the operation. Use anesthesia unless the patient, you know, is already passed out. Reduce. Okay. Let's do a couple of these things. All right. We're going to divide. First off, very quickly. About what do you think an, a, a reasonable answer is to this? Two and two thirds divided by four. Is it going to be more than one or less than one? Less than one, right? Because this is something that's three divided by four. It's not going to even be three fourths, right? Because if it were three, it'd be three fourths, but it's less than that. So if you get the answer, I got a 17 over six. Mm -mm. 17 divided by six is like almost three. The answer is less than one. You did something wrong. Okay, let's figure it out. Okay, we're going to divide. 2 and 2 thirds, 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 thirds divided by, in other words, if you're dividing by 4 over 1, that means you're multiplying by 1 over 4, right? Okay, let's chop down the 8 and the 4. That's going to be a 1, and that's going to be a 2, and I mean, there you go. It's 2 thirds. That's all there is to it. Okay, that's it. All right, try another one. Divide this. You do it. Well, first off, think about this. Look at it. 2 and 2 thirds. It's almost three, right? Divided by one and a half. Three divided by one and a half is exactly two, right? So it's going to be somewhere around two, a little less than two. Okay, go ahead and pause it and do exactly what we did on the last page. Give it a pause and do it. Okay, well, let's do it again here. That's going to be, again, eight thirds. And if you are divided by, uh, dividing by three halves, which is what this is as mixed number, that means you are multiplying by two thirds, right? Okay. 8 times 2 is 16. 3 times 3 is 9. 16 divided by 9. What did we estimate the answer was? A little less than 2. Well, is 16 divided by 9 a little less than 2? Yes. Good. That's exactly right. Okay. The answer is this is 1 and then there's 7 left over. So 1 and 7 ninths. There you go. Okay. That's dividing mixed numbers. Now in your problem set, they're going to have a couple of ofs. What is it? What is before I? I'm not going to tell you. What does the word of mean to do in arithmetic? Okay. Go ahead. And, go ahead and pause it and try a. Okay. A looks like this: eight fifths, and we're not going to divide by four over one. We're going to multiply by one over four. All right. So we have eight and then four. That goes one time, and then that goes two times, and then the answer is two fifths. There we go. Okay. Pause it and try b. Okay, one fourth of means to multiply. So make sure you multiply. One fourth of one and three fifths is eight over five. That chops out. Oh, looky there. One fourth of one and three fifths. Hmm, that's also two fifths. This answer was two fifths, and this answer was two fifths. Gee, one and three fifths is in both of the problems. Look at there. A fourth is the same thing as dividing by four. Just proves that we're right, right? Pause it and try C. Okay, well, if you kind of guesstimated, you could go eh, a little less than three divided by three is going to be a little less than one. Okay, so two and two fifths is the same thing as 12 fifths. Divided by three over one means you multiply by one over three, right? The 12 and the three cancel, that gives you four. So your answer is four fifths, like we said, a little less than one, right? Okay, last one, give this a whirl. Don't forget uh, of, okay, one-third of two and two-fifths. That's one-third 
times 2 and 2 fifths is 12 fifths. Gee, I wonder why this looks familiar. There's the answer, 4 fifths. In other words, all Saxon is doing is very sneakily telling you that 1 third times something is the same thing as you're dividing by 3, right? Okay, all right. Have fun with your warm-ups. Um, do something, go, before you do any warm-ups or maybe after, write yourself a note. Go up to your mom or dad or grandma or whoever's homeschooling you and just say something nice. Just thank them for homeschooling you and give them a hug or something like that or write them a little note or give them a text or something like that. So, all right. See you guys next time. Have a great day. Take care.